Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the report of the week. Thanks for checking in. Well, right off the bat, I'll say this. This is going to be a bit of a hybrid review, so to speak. There is something that I want to try out, but there is a bit of a story that I want to tell as well, and a question that I want to pose to you, the viewing audience. And the question is a very direct one, and it's something that really was, it's what prompted me to do this video. What is Taco Bell's problem? And that's just it. Now, I know you could direct that question a lot of ways, but the things that I've noticed with Taco Bell, especially in light of, of really just, this whole thing has a story behind it. I just don't get it. I, I really don't get it. I understand that other fast food chains have various problems, but the level just that Taco Bell has, I don't get it. Well, let's get to it. There's been an item from Taco Bell that I've been meaning to try uh, for the last couple days, really. I saw that they were going to be getting rid of it in the next week or two, and I thought, eh, I want to give it a shot. I want to see what it's all about and, and go from there. And this item was their seven-layer nacho fries bowl. So what it is, of course, is you have their famous nacho fries that uh, Taco Bell is actually contemplating putting on the menu permanently, and you'll have the nacho fries within a variety of other ingredients in a bowl, and uh, then you'll have a little bit of everything, and you'll be able to enjoy it. And it seems like a generally well-received item. A lot of people like the nacho fries, and anything that they incorporate said nacho fries into. So like I said, it's a common item. There's a lot of interest, but I think they've really done all right in terms of the availability. And I thought, all right, Gonna give it a shot and see what it's all about. The lengths that I tried and failed to, to go through to, uh, to get this item, where to even begin? So the other night, I know that Taco Bell is open late and a lot of the places advertise as having quite late hours. So first thing I tried to do was uh, place an order at around 11 p.m., which isn't too late, I'd say but I uh, tried to place an order to get the item delivered. I got everything ready for the review, you know, so all right, let's give it a shot. I placed the order, and uh, after about 10 minutes or so, the order got canceled. Now that happens. It's rare, but it, it does happen. All right, not, not, you know, not the biggest deal in the world. It happens. I'll just try again tomorrow. So that's precisely what I did. And I made sure to uh, try to order it a little earlier, too, because I thought, yeah, 11 p.m., maybe it's a little late, etc. So I got up earlier. I got up at around 8 p.m., placed the order again, and it got canceled again. Now I thought, all right, this is, this is starting to get strange, but maybe it's just a problem with uh, my local Taco Bell. I'm going to try to do try to do another one. I'm going to try to get it delivered from another establishment, because I have the ability to choose a number of Taco Bells in the area. It's not like there's only one place that's the only establishment in the area. So I tried again. Placed the order, and it sat there for a while. Got canceled again from a different location. I tried a third Taco Bell, and again, this is still a reasonable hour. We're talking around the nine o'clock hour. Tried the third Taco Bell. That got canceled. I tried a fourth Taco Bell. That order went through. But despite being charged for the entire thing, I ordered another thing with it. I got a crunch wrap just for me to eat. The crunch wrap arrived, but the seven layer nacho fries bowl did not arrive, and I was still charged for it. And it continues. I tried another establishment. And the hours were completely wrong on that. I, I couldn't get anything there. Now it's the next day, and it's the morning. And I thought, all right, at this point, I just want to, I want to try to get anything from Taco Bell. I'm just going to make a video about them, and uh, 
Heck, I just don't think it's it's meant to be in terms of trying out this nacho fries seven layer bowl. So maybe I, I'll just try out some of their breakfast selections. So I this time I actually went out to try to get them. Went over to a Taco Bell that said they were open. And they weren't open. The place looked like it was derelict, like it was abandoned, practically. Went to another Taco Bell. And that place was open. And then I asked about the availability of the nacho fries and all of that. And they were mostly just confused. I don't really know what was, what was going on there. They mentioned that maybe some places have, you know, ingredient availability issues. But they said that everything was, was fine with theirs. So I just don't really know what's going on here. Now, I know in the world of fast food, when it comes down to it, of course there are logistical shortfalls, right? There are those times, and I'm sure some of you watching this know that you might even work at a fast food place, or you're familiar with how it all uh, occurs. Sometimes the ingredients are there for certain things, and if a crucial ingredient is uh, unavailable, then you obviously can't make certain items. And that does happen, absolutely. And that's why I tried to ask the question, and I was trying to look, are there any availability issues here? But as far as I know, there really aren't any. And then the thing that I noticed just with Taco Bell, because there's other establishments in the area as well, and none of them seem to have the issues in terms of hours and canceling orders and uh, just all of these problems compounded into one. For instance, with one Taco Bell, there's a McDonald's right next door. And they're doing fine in terms of managing things, in terms of uh, logistics, in terms of service, hours, handling everything, etc. One issue I also noticed with a lot of Taco Bells is a huge disparity in the hours uh, in terms of just what gets announced on their website and even on the stores themselves compared to what you actually see in person. And I think that's another reason why a lot of the, uh, the orders wind up getting canceled. Uh, because maybe some places that everyone, including the system itself, thinks are open, wind up not being. But I see these problems, and I see it so repeatedly. It's not like I'm just, like this one experience was suddenly the, the worst thing that could ever happen. It's really just a trend that I noticed when it comes down to Taco Bell, that if there's one establishment, one chain, I'm trying to say, that seems to so consistently have problem after problem after problem, it's always Taco Bell. Not even Burger King has these sorts of issues so broadly and so consistently as Taco Bell. And that just makes me ask the question, what is it about Taco Bell? Why? Why is it that, that it's always Taco Bell that has these sorts of issues? Because we know chains like McDonald's and Wendy's and Burger King and KFC they're just as widespread, right? They're just as, as big chains. They have broad supply uh, chains, etc. But somehow they just don't have the same problems that, like I said, I consistently see Taco Bell facing again and again and again. So what is it about Taco Bell? If anyone has any thoughts on this, why Taco Bell? What happened with them? Does... Does the universe just have it out for Taco Bell? Why do you think that is? Do you notice these issues? Do you happen to notice all these sorts of problems, be that in terms of logistics or hours or service, whatever it might be, in regards to Taco Bell, wherever you are? Or do you think this maybe is just something that's, that's impacting me? I'm just curious if you happen to notice the same thing that I've been noticing for so long now that you have all these problems with Taco Bell and seemingly only Taco Bell and uh, all the other establishments, despite their similarities, seem to be immune to such misfortune. So what do you notice? Do you have these problems with Taco Bell too? I'm curious. Leave a comment with your thoughts, but this is just the final thing that just kind of left me in, in disbelief because I've had, I mean, more frustrating experiences with Taco Bell than I could possibly count. And a lot of the time, I just accept it, you know? I just think, look, it's 2022. This is the fast food experience. I know I'm not going to a five-star restaurant, so I'm not necessarily going to expect that level of service. 
But when things just happen so consistently, you can't help but notice certain patterns. And that's just what's got me thinking. And, and this is finally the thing that thought, you know what, I'm just going to ask the question and see if anyone else notices the same thing that I'm noticing. So just something I wanted to share in that regard, and I'm curious what you make of it. Now, like I said, this is going to be a little bit of a hybrid review. I've got a uh, little bit of a holiday theme going behind me, and uh, I just wanted to try out some breakfast from Taco Bell real quick, just, just for the heck of it. You can see they're going with the trippy Taco Bell insignia. I just wanted to try out their uh, breakfast crunch wrap. Four dollars in price. It's a breakfast themed crunch wrap. And you can get it with bacon or sausage. And I might have had this before and I remember enjoying it at the time, but this has bacon, egg, cheese, uh, creamy jalapeno sauce, and then I also got some breakfast salsa on the side. I think some years ago, there it is, you could see, typical crunch wrap design. Years ago, I think I tried out the breakfast from Taco Bell. And if my memory serves me correct, I think I enjoyed it. So I'm just gonna try this out just for the fun of it. Really, I just wanted to vent a bit and ask that question and yeah, just do a little bit of a review on the side for the fun of it. So I'm gonna try it out now. The breakfast crunch wrap bacon from Taco Bell going in. Oh yeah, that's right, there is, there's a little bit of potato in here as well. Real quick, I'll try out some of the salsa. And I'll just give a little assessment here. All in all, the breakfast crunch wrap has one saving grace, I would say, and that is the creamy jalapeno sauce in it. Without that sauce, this is one of those items where I think the sauce definitely makes it. Without it, I would have said that it's a, a bit bland, if anything. It's not very cheesy, and it was actually a little, a little bit dry which is kind of odd. You don't usually associate that, especially with um, eggs and, and all of that involved. Uh, but it just seemed very, uh, like I said, unremarkable. But that sauce, this is a good example of when a sauce ties it all together. Because you have the creaminess of the jalapeno sauce that gives it that much needed moisture and gives it what I would describe as a very flavorful spice, because sometimes you have these levels of spiciness where it's just, you know, it's just going to put you in an excruciating state almost, and this, on the other hand, isn't overwhelming, it's not overbearing, but it's just enough spice that it really ties everything together, and uh, it just gives it that little bit of a kick and a little bit of a boost that kind of bumps it up to what I would say is average. 
something that might otherwise be a bit below average, where again, it's just a little bit bland, everything kind of just blends together unremarkably, and it uh, just kind of is, is a bit dry, then you have this sauce that, like I said, gives it that little bit of a kick, that little bit of a boost, gives it that little bit of life that it desperately needs. And that at least kicks it up a notch. Now, the breakfast salsa, on the other hand, I really don't think this is an item that needs it. The salsa, to me, seemed very watered down. It seemed very watery and just generally unremarkable. I think that the sauce that suits this best is the creamy jalapeno sauce that already comes on it. And I would almost be willing to say that a better sauce to use for their breakfast items is really just their own regular hot sauce, just in the standard sauce packets. I think that quality-wise, it's higher than the salsa, because the salsa just seems very lackluster. It's just more watery than anything, and a bit disappointing in that regard. But I will say that their crunch wrap, it's all right. I think I did have one of these a few years ago, maybe five or six years ago, if I had to take a guess. And I remember being much more impressed by it at that, at that point. And uh, it is a bit more disappointing and much more lackluster. But at least compared to the experiences that I had, service and logistic-wise, and just how frustrating it all has, uh, has been as of late, at least the item isn't that bad. So I would say out of 10, just factoring in the quality of the item, price is $4, you're getting a decent portion, all things considered at least, not a ton of empty space there. So factoring that in, I would give the breakfast crunch wrap uh, with bacon a 6.5 out of 10. It's one of those items where you'd kind of say, yeah, it's all right. Not necessarily raving about it as to how good it might be, but not necessarily giving it a excoriating Ex excoriation, harsh excoriation, I'm trying to say, and to say it's the worst thing ever, either. So, at least the thing that I'm reviewing on the side is alright, but like I said, logistically and service-wise, and it's just been, with Taco Bell, one problem after the next, after the next with them. I, I try a lot of these places, I get a lot of things from these places, and for some reason it's always Taco Bell that has these problems. Have you noticed that? Why is it just Taco Bell? Because I, I am at a total loss here. That's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm your host, The Report of the Week.